All right, here we are on standing on some Gabbro in the Isle of Skye. We are seeing an exposed magma chamber of the volcanics associated with the opening of the Atlantic. James, can you tell us a little bit more about this incredible place? Well, yes. I mean, you've already actually said, said quite a lot of uh, great things in your introduction here, but um, we had, um, for most of Scotland's geological history, it was attached to uh, North America, and uh, all of the rocks are part of North America until suddenly you get up to 55 million years ago and the Atlantic started to rift open, and the hot spot that's now currently under Iceland, uh, lava somehow uh, made its way down from there through, through weaknesses and erupted out in several places. Here you've got the Sky Volcano, uh, just a little bit south, south of us is the Rum Volcano, then you've got the Ardamurkan Volcano, and then you've got a, a volcano uh, down uh, on Arran. Oh, you've got the Mole Volcano, and then down on Arran as well. And a huge amount of uh, magma also erupted out in Northern Ireland. So, uh, but this exact place here, it's, uh, I believe, it's probably the most beautiful place anywhere in Scotland, anywhere in the UK. And uh, it's not just that the, the rocks are made uh, from uh, the magma chamber, these rocks actually uh, solidified um, 30 kilometers below the crust. They were feeding this this, uh, this big volcano and erosion has revealed them. But what is so spectacular here is the landscape. The landscape has been carved out uh, by ice. There's been a glacier that's flowed all the way down here. Everything you're seeing is smoothed and polished. There are glacial erratics just strewn around as if the ice just left yesterday. Uh, and. Um, yeah, it's just incredibly beautiful and we're here on a really gorgeous, uh, lovely sunny day. Oh, we're, we're quite fortunate indeed. And so there's the black cullen and the red cullen. So how about a word or two about that? Well, yes, so there's the two different mountain ranges, uh, uh, the, bl the black cullen and the red cullen. Cullen actually just comes from the Norse word to, to, to mean mountain because actually Vikings came here. Uh, but the black coolin are called the black coolin because they're black in colour. The red coolin are red in colour. Why would this be? Well, the black coolin are predominantly made from gabbro, although there's some other ultramafic rocks like peridotites here as well. Whereas the uh, red coolin are made from granites. And these both would have been formed in the same volcano, but maybe at slightly different times. Uh, and granite can form when you have a fractional crystallisation uh, within a magma chamber. And over time, uh, compositions can become uh, more... Uh, quartz rich and granitic melts can form. So quite a dramatic place on a beautiful day. James, thank you so much for showing us around. For Geo World Travel.